Back in episode four, I talked about several different types of precision and the terms related that we need to know about when discussing linear mechanics. Since then, I've been asked to expand upon and clarify a bit on the Abbey Air and how it affects the flatness and straightness. I'm Corey Foster at Valen Corporation. Let's see what we can learn. So as a reminder, we don't measure the spot of where your application is when measuring the accuracy and the precision of the stages. We have to assume where that is. So, you know, you could be using a piece of paper or a piece of sheet metal or something right on top of it so it's really thin, but most applications have some load, an inch or two above the carriage. So the manufacturers have to assume where that's going to be. So out of practice, they just assume maybe an inch, 25 millimeters probably, uh, right above the carriage. That's called the point of measurement, as shown here. Well, what's the Abbey Air? The Abbey Air is the angle that can be caused by the motion of that carriage as it moves down the rails. Now, it could be uh, roll air, it could be pitch air, it could even be yaw air. But each one of those will cause an angular air of that point of measurement that's an inch over the carriage. So as the angle changes, we get this linear air that can, is caused by that change in the angle. Well, how do you calculate that? If you, you measure the linear air, and then you can calculate the angle, but let's say we know the angle and we know the distance because we have defined that. Uh, it is trigonometry at that point, distance times the tangent of the angle. So if the d is one inch, like I said, we assume that if it's 0 0.1 degree times the tangent times that one inch, that linear error is 0 0.0017 inches. That's not very big. Let's say we multiply that by 10, and it's one degree of angular error. I've grossly exaggerated this, of course, but you can see how that error changes. The tangent of that times the one inch, it's only 0 0.017 inches. Again, not very big. But in millimeters, that's almost half a millimeter, 0.43 millimeters. If you're trying to position down to the micron level, 0.43 millimeters, 430 microns, that's huge, and that is a huge error that has to be accounted for. So again, as it's going down the track, you can see the straightness, it's going to wobble like this. The flatness, it's going to wobble this way, and even in the yaw, it's going to wobble back and forth this way. Each one of those, that inch above the carriage, is going to make that wobble around in different directions. And that's definitely going to create problems for the precision if you're needing a high precision stage. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. I hope this helps.